yeah, this is another beautiful thing because it's all constant downward pressure on a regular espresso machine. <coughs> Let me put this in. On a regular espresso machine, you're um, getting upward pressure as well. So when you turn the button off, you hear a pshh, but you're not hearing that on this. Yeah, you're not hearing this because there's no upward pressure. That upward pressure um, is a flaw on, um, in my opinion, on the regular espresso machine. Thank you, Lord. Because that upward pressure covers up here with uh, grinds. It doesn't happen with this machine. Oh, uh, right. Is like a negative pressure kind of? Yeah, yeah. after it discharges, it goes it yeah. sucks. It's a good exactly. way to, to dry the pack up. And this so, one is just kind of all one way. Oh, it's one way. Flush it. it's only so one you have way. to back flush the, uh, the pump yeah. machines. Right. You have a blank, you have a, some, I mean people have used them all. Well, no, you have a blank plate that you put in here with no holes. Oh, oh right, off, right, right, off, right. People do that once a day, if you're lucky. They should be doing it every 40 minutes. In the other machine. In the other machine. You need to, they need to be back flushing every 40 minutes. Okay. Every hour, you know, it's, but... We, uh, on the other machine, we have a timer tucked under here. And it goes beep every 40 minutes. Every 40 minutes, they have to back flush and clean. And every time you do it, it's a good thing. They, they really, and this, it's just easy enough to do. 